Hello and welcome back to Pem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use Timber Design module in Pem Design software. In Timber Design module, we have Timber Bar Design according to Eurocode, Orthotopic Panel Design, CLT Panel Design, Timber Bar Fire Design, and CLT Panel Fire Design. In this video, we will look only timber bar, orthotopic panel, and timber bar fire design. You will learn more about CLT panel design and CLT panel fire design in the next video. Let's first check what I have in my model. So we will go to structure, tap here, and what I have uh, modeled in my structure, I have two timber columns here and one timber beam. I have used the same bar functions here. The only difference for these elements is that I have set here from the section, I have selected from timber sections and I have selected the material from timber selection. Here you can also set your application data like as service class and other important factors for your timber design. I have done the same for the columns and what I have here is uh, orthotopic shell that I have modeled with timber plate function and in here I have simply selected from materials orthotopic shell and cross laminate board and here one of the profiles in plates or walls you will also have border and panel connection parameters where you can set up the correct parameters for your connections i have already calculated my model so now we can simply move the timber design tab and in here we can start by checking out timber bar design. You can start your timber bar design by setting up the buckling length for your timber bars like columns and beams in the model. In my model you can see that I have set the buckling length for each direction to be 1. Next you set up the correct calculation parameters for your timber bars, like the general settings about second order analysis and lamination thickness. What we can do next is simply check our timber bar or we can use other design or we can use manual design. We will start by checking out these two columns here. As we can see that the pre-selected column works fine for these parts let's set the beam and after checking the beam we can see that the maximum utilization is over 100 so now we can use the auto design function to find the correct section for our timber beam here and here you can see that i have selected all the profiles from this section and set the limit of utilization to 100%. And let's see, can we find a section that will work for this beam? And now we can see that the auto design have found it, the selection for this beam. Uh, sorry, selected the correct section for this beam here. Now we can move to other topic panel. As I previously said, I have one autotopic panel here in my model here and first we could start, start by setting up the correct buckling length but this is a uh, floor panel here so we are not going to do that for that and once again you can set up the calculation parameters here and here are only two simple parameters that you can change and now we can once again check if this panel is good and we can see that uh, maximum utilization is 
24. So we need to change this panel here and we can do it with other design. And now I'm going to directly uh, click the other design button and I can see that the uh, apply type is a different and now we have maximum utilization of 93 which is under 100%. And what we have left in timber design, we have timber bar fire design. And when you start your timber bar fire design, you can click here, for example, this column, and you will get calculation parameters, just like uh, duration of fire and nominal charring rate and protection by connected structures and buckling length multiplier. I'm just going to press OK here. And now I'm going to check does my column work on the fire. Now I can see the fire protection or the column doesn't handle the fire design. And now I can actually move to right here and I'm going to select timber bar fire design utilization. I'm going to set fire and display. And once again, I use detailed results to check my column. And here I can see all the starting parameters to my design. And then I can see the design calculation or the check that fails in this column. And if I track till the end, I can see summary of all the designs that Fem Design has performed. And of course, you can do this detailed results for C uh, timber bars here and timber panels and also for CLT panels that we will look through or in a better way in the next video. But this was all for this video. I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.